ball with you. Is it going to be a very short vlog? Yes, she did. We're going to distance. We, uh, we've come to the conclusion on what dance you're going to do on TikTok. Oh, no. You know how to do the gritty? No. How do you do it? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> It's probably the worst gritty of all time, but hey, it's so comedy. We're getting desperate. We'll get there. We'll see what Kyle has to do, and then we'll see who's the better. Content's been low the last couple of days. That's why we're trying to learn the gritty. Yeah, focus this morning I'm um, trying to check out the ball motion you know <laughs> trying to get the lay of the land see what guys are doing EJ is probably gonna be the only guy throwing reactive because he's a freak EJ is a freak but we know Kyle's throwing your thing we know Kyle's throwing your thing and what we also know is that Jesper's throwing your thing <laughs> wow if you take very a, too surprised if you take a gander at uh, Jesper's bag right here you'll see no react. <laughs> That's a pretty is. clear cut and dry game plan. That's it. Pretty simple. <laughs> We're in the spirit of March. Yesterday was selection Sunday. We're running a little bracket today. So we got 16 bowlers, which means you got to make eight predictions for this first match. Eight predictions. All right, I got Ketslow, Rash, Kyle. You think you think Ketslow's beating Tommy Jones? Only because Tommy just came off the show and he's probably pretty tired. Okay, and you Ketslow's got fresh. Here we go, baby. It's big time. Let's go. Ketslow, Rash. You got Rash and Rash is hurt. You got Rash. Rash is hurt. hurt. He's bad. Sorry. Martin. Okay. We got Ketslow, Martin, Kyle. Kyle over Packy. Jesper. Packy over. Uh, Butcherif. Okay. Uh, Christian over AJ. Over AJ. Uh, okay. EJ over Stu. Okay. Uh, Prather over Russell. And we'll do. We'll do Svensson over Andrew because Svensson was the tournament leader. Boom. Okay. Right there. Hop into the booth, baby. Let's get it.
You win 3 0? I did. Yeah. Shot 280 the last game? I did, yeah. Damn. You're a sick man. Uh, that phase? No, no, no. I, I did. I bought three games and I did three different things. So. Same. <laughs> you are a sick man. You won 100K yesterday and you just come out here slinging wood, doing whatever you want to out here on Cheetah? This yeah. don't matter. I, uh, when you got it, you got it. I, I actually got my, my pitch black to hook. Ooh. I was uh, going 11 to 1. The first game had 240. And then the next game, I was like. I threw the Nova in the fill, it struck. I was like, oh yeah, it's probably about that time. It's probably stretched enough. I had 240 with the Nova. And in the first shot in the 10th, it went runaway Brooklyn because I missed left. I was like, oh, maybe there's not that much hold. So the second shot in the 10th, I moved right with the uh, pitch black and went right of where I was and just gave it the heater. And 280. Had 280. Yeah, I had that. Yeah, I was just hitting holes out of your thing and didn't move. <laughs> I did not move. Another lefty, Mr. Butchers, one of the best bowlers in the world. Oh, we got the loose. For title number two here at the World Series of Bowling, Kyle Sherman. Two here at the World Series of Bowling, Kyle Sherman. He's not from Illinois. And the number one seed from Puerto Rico. He's a PBA Tour champion as well, winning the 2018 Wilmington, North Carolina Open. Looking for PBA Tour title number two here to this evening, Christian Ascona. That's the lineup for the top five this evening. Okay, so tell me what you were telling me. Kyle's strike percentage today was pretty extreme. Yeah. <laughs> he shot close to 78% strikes. 78% strike percentage. Pretty amazing. 15-29.
to face our total. Wow. Yeah. So where can people find those stats? People can find them, right? LaneTalk.com. Download the app. LaneTalk.com Lane and talk. download the app. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Go do that, everybody. LaneTalk.com. You can see all the stats from the whole World Series of Bowling. Great stuff these guys are doing. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, we're here. We are here. Mike, this place is loud. Yeah, man. It's louder what than is you it? thought it was going to be, isn't so it? So it's like the drop ceiling? Is that kind of what it is? It's Milwaukee it's fans. It's Milwaukee fans. That's yeah. unbelievable. It's like they were doing a warm-up. <clears throat> throw a strike. Crowd goes crazy. Nuts. And I watched the show last night, and I couldn't tell. I had no idea this, this Yeah, it's because of like the way that they edit the audio on the show. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, so we're getting ready. The first match is... I need your help. Uh, Jacob Buttruff, who and was the number six seed coming in, but he's number <laughs> five now, and he is bowling against Andrew Anderson. Andrew who was Anderson. I couldn't tell seed. if he was a third seed. Yeah. Okay, so 16 seed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then the winner of that bowls Kelso, Chris Kelso yep. from Colorado. Yeah. Winner of that bowls Kyle. Winner of that bowls Christian Ascona. Yes. Sir. My man Kyle here. He's oh, urethane he or bust. Urethane or bust. We need the shirt. It's got to be a shirt. It, it's got to be a shirt. But here we go. How you feeling? Feel good, dude. They're gonna interview me at the top of the show. Yo, I'm the what are you going to say? Uh, I'm going to say I'm banging on the thing for the bang cheese, on baby. The bang, yay! Banging on the thing for the cheese. <laughs> what are you going to do? What do you think about the crowd? The crowd's awesome. Dude, they're already hyping it's up. Wow. Dude, it's loud. loud. Oh, it's going to be crazy. You gotta get we, can get a, we can get a little six-bagger, eight-bagger going on. You, uh, it's get you're trying to blow my man over here for the Lindenwood's finest. Oh, yeah. There we go. Lindenwood oh, yeah. showdown. Yeah, dude, yeah. We got to get there. If I get there, he knows what's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can text Randy. I'm like, you're going to want to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who's Randy, who Randy's rooting Root for. Right. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs>
right, Denny, we're getting you in the vlog. Okay. We need your words of wisdom. What are you seeing out there? You've seen this guy bowl his whole life. We've had some good ones and some bad ones. He's coming up for the cheetah title. on the ball, and they're just sitting up on it. down on it and blending out the lane. Yeah. Second half. That way he can hit it harder if he hits down on it. He can hit it harder and it'll just be more of a blend. Yeah, it rolls back. Yep, but we knew that the lanes were going to feel a little slick from all the urethane going back. I see what he's trying to do, but there's been a couple that have been iffy, but so far, I mean, I like it. I like the spot. He's not bowling bad. I told you. You got the fan. That boy, ha! Gave all my emotion out 
to everybody else. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that for entertainment? Wow. Thank you guys. Without First all you guys following us, you guys. You're my you guys people, do, you're my city. That is the Commissioner Tom Clark. Thank you, Mike. Great job. I'll tell you what, I cannot wait for the next episode of Pratt and Kyle. That thing is going to be epic. <laughs> you know, they've, been, they've done such a great job uh, promoting the PBA and, and bringing a lot of kids along. and. Uh, and I'm really proud to, uh, you know, it, I know it's got to feel like the first time live on TV, World Series of Bowling. It's your second title, but uh, on behalf of the PBA, Kyle, congratulations. You're a champion. Champions, uh, what are your colors going to be if you figure that out yet for your champions banner? I already got the banner. I already got the banner. Singles, what are your colors? Oh, like green and silver. Okay. And what does that signify? I like green and silver. What's your thoughts on the bench, knowing that you had the bowling equivalent of taking a knee? What was going through your head? Oh, nothing. I mean, winning out here is so hard. I mean, the fans kind of see it, but it is just so difficult. All these guys, there's guys that have never won out here uh, that are amazing bowlers in their own right. So just sitting there and telling myself that, hey, you know, you can get your first singles title if you just keep it on the wing, man. <laughs> What's it mean that you've also developed the fan base? What's it mean to have the folks on your side? Yeah. Oh, they're amazing. They're amazing. and all the comments we get about our vlog and people coming up to us and you know me and Brad weren't even like that good on the tour. <laughs>
there's two things and I thought about Norm almost the entire time. I was like, a couple things just from listening to his stories, listening to stuff. Uh, the one was, I don't know, he said something to me and or he was telling us a story and he said something about, just go make your shot. And I don't know why, but I kept just picturing Norm saying, just make a shot. Just make a shot. Yeah. Just make your shot. Don't worry about all this other crap. Just just make your shot. And I just got this comfortability in the matches and everything. I was like, just make your shot. It just kind of worked. I told myself, I was like, Kyle, it ain't, a, it ain't about learning right now. It ain't about trying to get better because I know we say that all the time. I was telling myself, we win bowling tournaments. And I am going to give it all to win this bowling tournament. And today it and worked you and it all in. did. But... Sometimes you need those little things to stick with you just to help keep you focused. So, Norm, thank you. Yeah. Shout out to the ball reps. I mean, the whole crew. Sean I mean, Ryan and Jim Callahan are two of the best duos in the business to help us keep our minds straight and make sure we're doing the right thing on the lanes. Thank you. Yes. What an epic day. It was awesome. I was telling your dad, like, these days don't come very often. You can do a lot of great things. You can make a lot of shows. You can be proud of yourself. It's very, I mean, Walter Ray's made a thousand and something shows. He's won 50 of them. You don't win very often. It's a unique day. And it's pretty cool. It is unique. It's so <laughs> hard to win out here. I don't think the people realize how good like a ninth place finish is in a PBA tournament. I mean, that's awesome. And we've done that a bunch of times. Bunch of time. And to actually be able to like win be the is guy. just, to be the guy. To be the guy. It's amazing. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm lost for words. I'm tired. The adrenaline is starting to come down after everything. And but and we can't thank you guys enough. Ah, uh, we can't. The so. crowd tonight was very in tune with the YouTube channel. I couldn't believe it. It still throws me off. Every Milwaukee time. crowd yeah, was amazing. Milwaukee and Detroit, wow. best crowd. So anyway, we're going to end this right now. Thank you guys so much for everything. Like, subscribe to the video, but you guys already do that. Thank you. World Series is over. It's the best. Thank you guys.